Good morning, kids. Miss Peggy here. It's good to see you this Sunday morning. Jesus is with us. I have a story to read. I hope you've had a great weekend so far. The story that I'm going to read to you today is about Hal. Hal is a friend of Rufus's. Hal is a hedgehog. Hal has been invited to race with his friends, to go on a race. And Hal, being a hedgehog, has really short legs. He's very worried about whether or not he can participate. All of his other friends have nice long legs and can probably run pretty fast. But how? Mm, hedgehogs are kind of slow moving. So let's read the story and see what happens. One morning, Hal came out of his hedgehog hole and stretched his arms as far as they could reach into the fresh air. What a beautiful day, he thought. I wonder what my friends are doing. So he went to look for them. There he is. Woke up first thing in the morning, didn't he? Hal came up to the top of a hill and saw Ava, Rufus, Joe, and Yuri. Good morning, Hal, Ava called. I was just telling the others about my idea for something fun to do. Oh, it's the best, most wonderful idea ever. Isn't it great to have ideas for fun things to participate in? They're excited about it, aren't they? What is it, Ava? Hal asked. A picnic? Hide and seek? Skipping rocks into the stream? Even better, Ava said. We're going to have a race from here to the tree on the other side of the hill. Oh, she's so excited, isn't she? Hal's stomach felt like it had dropped to his toes. This was not good news. My legs are so short, Hal thought. I can't go as fast as the others. I'll lose and everyone will laugh at me. Look at his face, he's so worried. Hal didn't want to be alone. He wanted to spend time with his friends, and that meant running the race. What do you say, Hal? Ava asked. Will you race with us? Mm, okay, I guess, said Hal. Look at his little short legs. It's going to be rough, isn't it? Yuri flew away with a ribbon for the finish line in her beak. Ava, Hal, Joe, and Rufus lined up for the race. Okay, Ava said, on your marks, get set, go! There they are. And when they get to the red ribbon, they'll know it's the finish line. Ava, Joe, and Rufus burst forward. Ava and Joe bounded up the hill. Rufus's legs moved so quickly that they turned into a blur. Hal ran as quickly as he could, but his legs couldn't carry him fast enough. By the time he was halfway up the hill, his friends were already on the other side. Look at how fast Rufus is going. <laughs> Oh no, Hal thought. This is exactly what I was afraid would happen. Hal stopped and thought about what to do. Maybe I can run just a little bit faster. I'll still lose, but maybe if I don't lose so badly, my friends won't laugh at me. Well, they just went over the hill, and he's still way down here at the bottom. And he's going to try. He's going to try to run just a little faster. Hal pushed himself as fast as his legs would carry him. He ran faster than he ever had before, faster than he ever thought he could. Then he ran, ran a little bit faster than that. Finally, he got to the top of the hill, only to find that Ava, Joe, and Rufus were almost at the finish line. Wow, he's really far behind, isn't he? Go, Hal, go! 
Go, Hal, go. Hal wanted to disappear. He wanted to hide. So he did what he always did when he was feeling embarrassed. He curled himself up into a little ball. Do you ever just want to go in your room and curl yourself up into a little ball? I do that a lot. As he tucked himself up tight, he said a prayer to help him feel better. Dear God, I'm not good at doing some things. Please help me be proud of the things I am good at. Amen. While his eyes were still closed, Hal felt himself begin to roll down the hill. He rolled faster and faster. Oh my goodness. He rolled so fast he couldn't see anything, but he heard Yuri's voice clear and loud. How? How is fast? Go, Hal, go. Hal rolled to the bottom of the hill. When he came to a stop, he uncurled and shook his head, feeling dizzy. His friends all ran toward him. Look how excited his friends are. <laughs> How, Ava yelled, you were so fast. What happened, Hal asked. You came in second, Ava said. I was first, but Joe and Rufus were slowing down because they were tired, and you rolled right past them. Oh my goodness. Hal could hardly believe it. He didn't embarrass himself. He did his best, and it was enough. Oh, you want to see that picture too, don't you? He's very proud. See the look on his face? I didn't know you could do that, Hal, Ava said. Hal stood up straight and tall, as tall as his little legs would make him stand. I might not be, be very good at running, but I am great at rolling, he said. <laughs> And that's the end. So, Hal didn't have very long legs, did he? So he knew he wasn't gonna be very good at running fast. But he'd forgotten his ability to curl up in a ball and just roll, didn't he? So we all have things that we're really, really good at, maybe because of the way God made us, maybe because we just take more interest in some things than others. But he found a way to make what he had the good things that he had about himself to work in other, in other ways. He found a new way to make rolling up in a ball a good thing, right? Let's say a prayer. Dear God, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I am not good at doing some things, but I am very proud of the things that I can do. Amen. All right, friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope next week is just as great, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.